brought to you by Crest, the toothpaste with fluoride to help reduce cavities among children, teenagers, and adults. Crest. And now, let's all play What's My Line? Let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you. And now, a gentleman I have spent 21 happy years with this very week, Mr. Martin Gable. Me too, Arlene. I was hoping so. <laughs> Certain families produced brilliant types in each generation, gifted people. In England, they have the Huxleys and the Cecils. In America, we have the Lees. And here is the latest gifted member of the Lee family, who's just made a big hit in the movie How to Succeed in Business, Miss Michelle Lee. Now I'd like to introduce a man that we've all enjoyed on stage and screen and television and now in records too, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite singers of Odeo Do, Mr. Tony Randall. <laughs> well this is alumni weekend at Tilton School in Tilton, New Hampshire. <laughs> And just back from the festivities is the old grad, John Daly. Thank you very much, Tony. We had a wonderful alumni weekend, but I came back to New York today, and just to make people in other parts of the country who may not be suffering the same affliction, the weather in New York today was just to be described with one word. It was awful, just terrible. So if you had any sunshine wherever you are, count yourself blessed on this weekend. And it's very nice to have you back with us, Miss Lee. Thank you Of the very United much. States Lees and, and Martin. <laughs> Martin is an old member of the family, sitting next to a member of his family, an old member of the family. And Tony, thank you very much. Didn't mean to bore you with my prep school, but I'm very fond of it. And because you've been so good, all of you, we have some very easy occupations, which you'll get very quickly. And we'll have a famous mystery guest, too, which you won't get very quickly either. So right now, let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter? And after you have, would you be kind enough to sign in, please? Mr. X. Very good. Mr. X. Thank you very much. Panel, it goes without saying that we felt we had to resort to this piece of knavery, because if uh, we were to use our guest's proper name, it might reveal something to one or more of you. But we will ask our guest if we may, where you're from. I'm from London. From London. Very nice to have you with us, sir. Mr. X, may I present our panel? Yes. Now, would you join me over here, sir? We'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. X is self-employed and he deals in a product and we'll begin things with Arlene French. Is it a useful product, Mr. X? Mr. X, you have the bearing of a handsome sportsman. Does your product have anything whatsoever to do with sport? No. What a night to go, Mark. Were you ever in the army, Mr. X? Yes. Was the army ever your profession? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Lee. Could you buy this product 
In a special... It, is it bought in a special type of a store? Yes. Uh, it can be, with your permission. Be, sorry, it can, can be, because we have such various rules and regulations and kinds of merchandising and marketing. marketing actually, I suppose it's invention more than anything else. Uh, you could buy it in a store that concentrated on, on this kind of product, but equally, uh, you could buy it in other kinds of stores. <laughs> Which ought to help you, not at all. Oh, dear. Um, is this something that I could hold in my hand? Yes. I could. Um, does it come in contact with uh, something other than your, your hand? Yes, yes. <laughs> Can I go to the ladies' room? <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Um, it does. Does it come in contact with uh, another person? I mean, could some other person utilizing the product uh, come physically in contact with it in utilizing it? I think so. <laughs> yes. I knew I was going to get a yes on that. I don't know what you said, but I had a feeling I was going to get a yes. Um, let's see. Then, then um, could I'm here. I am with the pencil again. Could I uh, assume then that this would come in contact with usually with something else other than a, a human being? No, I think we've, as far as the contact line of questioning goes, you, you, we'd have to give you a no or you'd be very confused. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Randall. Miss Lee got a no from the audience. <laughs> no, no coaching, please. Is this a consumable product? Yes. Is it liquid? Yes. Is it spirit to us? <laughs> yes. Mm, is it, well... Is it uh, some sort of English or Scotch whiskey? No. No. Ah. Four down and six to go, Arlene. But it has a spirit in it, correct? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we would say that, all right. Is it a bubbly product? No. Five down and five to go, Martin. My knowledge of liquors is very limited. <laughs> oh, oh, I wish I had my violin. <laughs> The record will show that the statement was made, <laughs> is, Mr. Gable. Uh, my personal life is my own. <laughs> Positively. <laughs> is it an ale? No, sir. That makes it six down and four to go, Miss Lee. You sound is bitter, it, Mr. Ray. <laughs> is it a whiskey? No, no. no. Uh, Seven no. down and three to go, Mr. Randall. It's not an ale, and it's not um, a whiskey. Not it a must whiskey. be a wine. No. Is that your no, question? I... Which, it, if it is, you got your no already anyway. That's eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Uh, is it, however, as strong as these others that were mentioned? Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, is it either a gin or vodka? Yes. 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 Well, if name. it's England, it ought to be beef eater gin, but uh, it. it no, it's not. Yes, his name must be Gordon. No. no. His name is Tanqueray. Equally no. famous, though, in the same field, Mr. Boom. John Gilby. Gilby's Jim. Ah. Ah. Gilby's London Dry Gin and... Uh, a delightful repast for those who drink gin, which is... And possible. I think it's high time that finally this program of them all brought liquor advertising to television. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a splendid product, Mr. Gilby. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ask the man who's had one. It was, <laughs> it was interesting, Martin, that you should ask Mr. Gilby about uh, military service. Well, his, he, he has a demeanor and a way of carrying himself, which, if I may so say, uh, suggested that he might have been in the in the services for a long time. Well, actually, what you did, you, you won't mind if I say, was a major in the, in the uh, Duke of Wellington Regiment for, during the war, right? Correct. Four years. Four years. Six. Well, four, <laughs> six, <laughs> is it? Yeah. Don't get a drink, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I say, there's one wonderful thing about your old traditional regiments. Any man who's been in them, in the ranks or who's an officer, and I think Martin 
was making this point is just holds himself for the rest of his days. I don't care. This is like a rainbow. Notice how I stand when I get up. Yes. <laughs> Martin and I were in Boy Scout Troop 6, New York. <laughs> That's where we got it from, Tony. How long has Gilby's Gin been in existence? Since 1857. Hmm. My great-grandfather started. 1857. That's 110 yeah. years. My heavenly days. And how many countries is, you know of now? that? It's, uh, well, we actually make it in 30 countries all over the world. Good heavenly days. Well, it's a wonderful... Wonderful history, and he's the boss, by the way, I should say. Thank you for being <laughs> our you guest. Wonderful well. to have you here. <laughs> we'll have another contestant for you in just a moment after this work. And now, our next challenger, would you uh, enter and sign in after you have, please? Edward Balaza, right, sir? <laughs> well, Mr. Balaza, where are you from? Belmore, Long Island. Belmore, Long Island. That's just a little bit out, isn't it? Right. 20 miles? 35. 35 miles. Well, that was close. South Shore. South Shore. Oh. Mr. Balaza, may I present the panel? Now, would you join me over here, sir, and we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. Balaza is salaried and deals in a service, and we'll begin things with uh, Miss Lee. Do you deal with both men and women? Good. Good. More so with uh, men than women? Uh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. In balance. Do you yes. do your work uh, indoors rather than outdoors? Uh, 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 no. Ask that way, we have to give you a no. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Randall. You perform your service for a non-profit making organization? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Ask it the right way, though? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you um, in any field of transportation of any kind? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Gable. Are your services more suitable for one sex than the other? No, I would think in the receipt of them, Martin, we would have to say that the end result was that whichever sex was present or utilizing the, the post effects of the service would enjoy, enjoy it equally. That's four down, six to go, Miss Lee. However, we, we said before that it, uh, what, what are, I asked men Does he deal more, more with men other than women, The right? tendency would be in his particular employment that he would have more contact with men than women, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, can I assume you don't come into physical contact with them? No. You don't. Um, do you use something uh, in, in the work that you do? Yes. Um, hmm. Is it of any mechanical type of device? No. No. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Randall. Do you require special training for the performance of your service? Apprenticeship, I imagine. Yeah, a degree of training. I mean, if you wanted to, to ascertain yes. it. Yes. Is yours the kind of, of job that is sometimes referred to as a craft? Yes. Hmm. Um, do you wear clothes other than those you would, you're wearing now when you work? Uh, other clothes. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we saw, saw you in your work clothes, would we have a fair idea of what you do? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Do you work outside of a building? Uh, yes. Do you work on the building you work outside of? Yes. Are you ever off the ground in your job? Yes. Are you, um, do you do something corrective in your work? In a general manner Or improving? Mm -hmm. Improving. Uh, could you in any way change the look of a building? Again, in a very general sense, Arlene, we would By that, agree. I mean, would it, be, would it be better looking when you're through with it? Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Did you happen to clean off Yankee Stadium, which looks very much better now? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not Yankee Stadium. That's seven down and three to go, Martin. Do you clean more of glass than you do of stone or brick or wood? Uh, yes. 
Do you do you clean windows outside Very good. of buildings? Yeah. Very good, Martin. Very good. Just for fun. Just for fun. Very good. I just threw all the cards over for fun. But just fun. What building comes uh, first to mind? The UN building. No. Empire State Building. Empire State Building oh. is right. Mr. Belaza is with uh, uh, Terminal. Terminal Window Cleaning Company, and this is the only building he works on. You, I guess you started <laughs> exploring and left <laughs> everything, and then you come down and you start all over again. Huh? From the 64. How many windows? You don't do that whole job all by yourself. Six. No. Oh He's no, got, we have plenty in there. He gets from the 60th floor. He starts from the 60th floor, works down to the 54th, and then goes back up to the 60th and comes back down again. With your group, you've got a group that does this. Huh? Just on. You do that all by yourself, all the 60th to 54? 64 down to 50. I always noticed the 54th floor of the Empire State Building. Much <laughs> cleaner than other. <laughs> Much cleaner. Congratulations. Thank you. Now we, all, now we know why that 54th looks so good. Thanks for being with us. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this word. Now, the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which, as everyone knows, the panel has to be blindfolded. Are the blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? As you probably don't need to be reminded, however, I will do it. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise in this case. We'll begin with Martin Gable. Is our guest in the arts? <laughs> Miss Lee. Are you a woman? <laughs> Mr. Randall. Are you a singer? <laughs> Miss Francis. Are you appearing at the present time in a Broadway musical? Mr. Gable. Is it a musical that's opened within the last month? <laughs> Miss Lee. Uh, is it Leslie Agam? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say, as I'm sure Martin probably would like to say it first, that I, it's, it's a rare thing that a, a, a musical opens on Broadway and, and the notices are as great as they were for the performance of Miss Uggams. Is that not, Martin, you know the theater, I don't. Miss Uggams is dazzling in a delightful show which I had the pleasure of seeing on the opening night. While I don't say it, I don't mind saying it, it was written by friends of ours, but quite in the most objective way, it's called Hallelujah Baby, and it's a terrific show, and Leslie Uggams is one of those overnight stars. Thank you. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> well, that's the first time I've seen Tony Randall, you know, open up like this and, and really take up water and, and drink it down like that, I must say. <laughs> Leslie, we were very pleased that you were coming with us, and I hope we have a pleasant surprise for you. We're lo not so long ago, when you were just a little girl, I understand about nine or ten years old, you went on a program called Johnny Olson's Show. Do you remember? That's right, well, sure. Well, Johnny is our announcer and <laughs> is the one who is our gate guider and mentor yeah. for the audience. Mm. And he's standing right over there. Where's the Johnny? <laughs> and speaking, speaking for all of our gang, I, I, and Leslie, I'm sure you won't mind mind my saying this, I'm sure one reason you have had such a brilliant career in, in the, the entertainment world is that you had a nice guy like that oh, he was very so good early on. He's he a wonderful man. Wonderful. He and Penny, I just adore I, them. They're There's good, another reason couple. she's successful. I? She's good. I am. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've been very good tonight. I must congratulate you. We'll have another contestant after this word. And now for a final contestant, will you uh, enter and sign in, please? <coughs> 
Judy. Kochi. Right, ma'am? Miss or Mrs. Kochi? Mrs. Where are you from, Mrs. Kochi? Nixon, New Jersey. Nixon, New Jersey, which is near Newark or farther uh, south? Woodbridge, Perth Amboy. Woodbridge, Perth Amboy. All righty, fine, Mrs. Kochi. May I present our panel? Okay. Now, would you join me over here and we'll let the audience <laughs> here in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. we can tell you that Mrs. Kochi is salaried and deals in a service, and we'll begin things with Tony Randall. Do you work for a profit-making organization, Mrs. Kochi? Yes. Is your service... Just mm -hmm. a moment. Let me talk for a moment. <laughs> right. Proceed. I'm sorry. I just wanted to clear up something for my own information. Go ahead. Am I, am I, am I to infer from this, though, that there is some question as to the uh, nature no, of the organization? No, just that I wanted to be perfectly sure there couldn't be a question about it. I see. <laughs> is your service uh, more physical than mental? Yes. Do you require special training? Yes. Is this not the kind of training that, requires, that uh, entails a degree? No. It is uh, not. Uh, yes, it yes. is not. That's what I meant. No. Yes, yes, yes. it is not, no. <laughs> Um, but it requires physical skill. Yes. A degree of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wouldn't dwell on it, but it... Uh, some I see. Do you, um, come in contact with men and women? Yes. Uh, men All right. and women? Both. You do, in some degree or another. We, we don't have to tell how many of each, no? Huh? All right? <laughs> some. Mm -hmm. You come in contact with more of one than another, is that it? No. You come in contact... You do no, not come in contact with either of them equally. <laughs> You're, you're talking about general contact, right? I uh, guess. Yeah. Am I, assu am I to assume then that you don't physically touch these people? No. Do they come to see you? You mean yes. as, as the principal purpose of their being there, have they come to see Mrs. Kochi? I'm not going to give you a no. One down and nine to go. They do not Just come to not see her. Mrs. Kochi. <laughs> Miss Jackson? Mrs. Kochi, they do come to you for your service, however. Yes. Uh, is your service given indoors? No. Well, and I would also say, to be fair, while they do come to Mrs. Kochi for the service, in an equal sense, Mrs. Kochi goes to them for the service. So that uh, you play with that for a bit and you see you have a lot of trouble. Two down and eight to go, <laughs> Mr. Gable. Well, excuse me, uh, something wasn't settled. She asked indoors and you said no. Uh, That's right. Uh, it, is, it is outdoors. That's settled. It's no for yeah. indoors. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very clear, Tony. <laughs> Nothing clear to me. <laughs> I don't have the mental capacity for this game, and I'm trying to... <laughs> the silence is not to be taken as assent, because you do. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never guess I was married to this lady, would you? would never. I'm having a wonderful time. Carry on. Is your service in any way uh, physically helpful to the people for whom you perform the service? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, is its principal function to help? I, I, Martin, I, must, I think you're getting onto the trail, but unfortunately we're running out of time so that I do have to reveal all. Quite Mrs. Understand. Kochi drives a school bus, a big yellow bus in Woodbridge Township in New Jersey. Carries 50 students. Well, we had lots of fun. Good to have you all with us, and good night, Arlene Francis. Thank you. Good night. Good night for now, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Miss Lee. Good night, Antonio. Good night, Mrs. Farentino, and good night, John. <laughs> good night, and Tony. Good and, and uh, happy events tomorrow. Tony's going to Philadelphia tomorrow in the service of VISTA, Volunteer in Services to America, because they're recruiting there tomorrow. And he does it a lot. He's quite a man. I hope a lot of you in Philadelphia get a chance to see him. And thanks for being with us tonight on What's My Line. What's My Line? The CBS Television Network.
production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Cotton. As Francis Gown is from Bonnet Color. This is Johnny Olsen speaking.